That's going on. Definitely enjoy today. Well, the latest now on the journey of dozens of dogs and cats left homeless by the hurricanes in the Carolinas and Florida. They're now in Nebraska, where Hearts United is working with them. And as 3 News Now reporter Megan Hahn reports, despite unexpected setbacks, some will soon be ready for new homes. Less than a week after arriving at Hearts United for Animals, these displaced dogs look right at home in Nebraska. But the long journey here wasn't without some lingering side effects. We at first thought, wow, we had a really great bunch of relaxed dogs, but then we found out that they were mostly sick, which is unfortunate, but it happens, especially with hurricane dogs. Whenever you're uh, rescuing dogs that come out of a really wet situation, we see a lot of it, we really do. Soon after arriving, some of the dogs began showing symptoms of a severe upper respiratory illness, that's highly contagious. It's spread by aerosol transmission, so the coughing, you know, there's little droplets of liquid when the dog coughs and then the, the dog in the next cage breathes those in and can get that. The nonprofit animal shelter says the unexpected illness will delay the adoption process. The animals have to be quarantined and medication is expected to cost in the thousands. I bought two bottles, uh, two different milligrams yesterday at the vet and the cost was $725. Makes us really sad. Yeah, it's really sad. Um, and then you get so exhausted, and then when you're exhausted and sad, it, it just, it, it becomes a huge problem. And then when we're dealing with this, everyone, their other duties, our workload here is huge. One of the dogs now has pneumonia, but the respiratory illness is considered treatable. And the kittens that were also displaced in the hurricanes are healthy and already being adopted out. Some of them, it's a miracle that they're even here, but we will, we will spare no expense getting them back to good and finding them great homes. Oh. 